It's time for another pop date with Mumbles and Mr. Dancer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates. On today's episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates, we are talking about Parvo and what you can expect from the recovery of Parvo with your dog. Guys, Dancer just recently went through this, so it's a topic that I know a little bit about. So I wanted to cover it for you guys today to hopefully help some of you out there if you're going through this same thing. Now, guys, I'm going to go put Dancer down and we're going to jump straight into this video. Guys, on today's episode of Mumbles, we are talking about what to expect when your dog is recovering from Parvo. Now, guys, I am basing this video on the assumption that you actually did take your dog to the vet and you didn't just, you know, keep them at home and try to, you know, do what you could for them. I am basing it on that expectation that you did take your dog to the vet. I do want to make a special note here again. First things first, guys, Parvo is a serious, serious, serious sickness. Please do not mess around with it. If you suspect your dog has Parvo, take your dog to the vet ASAP. It doesn't matter if your dog had shots or not. They can still get Parvo. Dancer had all his shots, and unfortunately, he got Parvo. So today, we are talking about the recovery and what happens when they do come home. Just to preface everything, Dancer spent about a week in the hospital. So, you know, it can be less. Sometimes it could be more. It just depends on the dog. So please do bear in mind that everything I'm saying comes from the idea that Dancer stayed in the hospital for a week. So guys, now let's jump into this review. I want one more time, I do want to stress, if you consider, if you do think your dog has Parvo or you want to know what the signs of Parvo are, please do check out my previous video, link in the description, and I went over all that stuff that you need to know. Now let's talk about the recovery process. So everyone, now we will be talking about the recovery process for dancers, starting with number one. Expect your dog to be very, 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 very tired and not very energetic. Guys, Dancer was extremely tired when he first came home. And he just really wanted to lay around. He wanted to be left alone. I mean, he wanted, you know, to, to make up with us and stuff. But really, for the most part, he found his corner. He found his safe spot. And he laid there most of the day. Guys, he was also very, very sore. When we went to pick up Dancer, we could not lift him by touching his stomach at all or really press on his stomach because he would start to dry heave because he was so sore there. Uh, the vet said that this was something that happens because of all the vomiting and all the sickness that he had. So he was very sore for a couple days and very tired. So first things first, your dog will be resting quite a lot when they come home. So guys, the second thing to know when your dog is recovering is that your dog is still very sick. Guys, the vets usually send the dog home as soon as they feel that they can, you know, manage on their own at home. But that does not mean your dog will still not be very sick. Guys, Dancer was still very sick. The vomiting had stopped, thankfully, because otherwise he would have had to stay in the hospital. But beyond that, he still had a lot of bathroom issues. There was a couple messes, unfortunately. It happens. We cleaned him up. And, uh, guys, he was still very, very, very sick. Well enough to be home, but still sick. So I wanted to make special note that when your dog comes home, they are still a sick dog. So you need to treat them as such. You need to pay attention to them. If vomiting starts, take them back to the vet ASAP. Guys, the third thing that you need to be aware of is, again, your dog is sick. So they may not have much of an appetite. With Dancer, guys, we actually had to hand feed him because he just really wasn't interested in food at all. The vet wanted us to give him a mixture of 80% rice and 20% chicken. Wasn't too happy about that Dancer. He loves chicken. Wasn't crazy about the rice, but we did the best we could with him. We got him to eat little bits here and there. Guys, worst case scenario, you know, if you have to feed your dog several times during the day, little amounts do that just do the best you can make sure they get something in their stomach and also make sure that they drink water because them staying hydrated is extremely important so guys the fourth thing that you're going to want to understand is that you will be sent home with a lot of med medication there was anti-vomiting medications there was stomach stuff there was all different kinds of stuff antibiotics we got sent home with a bunch of pills so you're going to have to already be aware of the fact and be ready to have a lot of patience if your dog is a little bit persnickety about taking pills. So guys, be no, be aware that you are going to have to give your dog a lot of pills. Make sure that you have the directions down correctly. Make sure if you have any questions that you ask them before you leave the vet so that you are on the same page with your vet so that your dog can get well. Guys, the final thing to note is even when your dog does start to feel better, you're going to want to make sure to take it slow. Do not just put them back at their full activity, guys. Maybe instead of going around, maybe you were a person who did five miles a day with your dog. Don't start them off at five miles. They are still very weak and very sore. Even if they get their energy back, you're going to want to take it slow. 
Maybe only do, you know, uh, uh, once around the block or something like that to start them off with. And start to build them up that strength because they do lose a lot of strength during the course of this sickness. So even when they have their energy back, make their sessions very short if at all possible. Guys, the final two things that I want to mention are to keep your dog away from all other dogs if at all possible. Guys, this can be rather difficult if you have multiple dogs. Just do the best you can. Make sure that, you know, if your dog goes out to the bathroom, you get that cleaned up right away and you get it cleaned off because your dog is contagious still when they come home. If your other dogs get into, you know, the feces or anything like that, they can get sick. So even if it's not your dogs that you're worried about, maybe it's other dogs you're worried about, be careful about taking them to places because they are still shedding the virus. So beware of that. Now, the final thing that I want to mention is some dogs can take months to actually get over the sickness. There's been reported cases that of some dogs taking up to six months to get back to where they were before the sickness started. So you're going to have to be very patient with your dog. Thankfully, Dancer didn't take that long to get back to normal. But even as such, I can still tell that he's still not as strong as he was. He's still building up his strength each and every day. So it takes a lot of patience, and you're going to have to have a lot of patience with the recovery process. Guys, I hope this helps for those of you that are going through this. And if you are, you have my pity. Uh, I'm just so sorry that you're going through this. I went through it myself, and it is the absolute worst. You're in my thoughts, and uh, I hope that you guys can get through this. Now I'm going to go get Dancer so you can see how he's doing. Now, guys, as with every week, guys, you get to see the cute little Dancer have all sorts of fun. And it's time for the pup and play, and here he goes. Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Puppets. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, smack all those button, button, buttons. We'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.